The immediate past managing director of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, has narrated how she was rescued from heavily armed policemen who wanted to arrest her without a warrant of arrest. Nunia, who spoke at the government house in Port Harcourt on Thursday, said the heavily armed policemen tried to break the security door to her residence before the governor came in and ordered them out of her premises. The former NDDC ND explained that she had earlier called the governor to inform him about the invasion of her residence by policemen, adding that Wike came to her rescue at a point the policemen were still trying to pull down the security door leading to her room. What kind of what kind of society what kind of society are we in? Can't you invite her to the police? Now you come and all of you come. Can you invite her to the police? I don't know. I tell them they asked them for their arrest warrant. Yes, out. Arrest warrant. Out. We're gonna be out. Early this morning, about 4 o'clock, I hear people was around, were around my gate. I made some calls. I tried to reach the governor um, because he had told me that if I saw any strange movements, I should alert him since he issued the statement. So I tried to reach him. The phones were off. And then so I called some people. They said they might not be real policemen, so I should stay. They said they came to take me away. I said, for what? Do they have a warrant of arrest? They said no warrant of arrest. So I left it about six o'clock, they broke the gate. And later, Senator Magnus Abbey now called me that he had reached the commissioner of police who said he didn't know anything about it. So the CP called me, I sent him my address, he came. They told me the CP was downstairs, the CP wasn't down, but I think he's the deputy commissioner of police. So I opened the door, they wanted to grab me. I now pushed back the door and locked it and went upstairs, got through to my governor. They broke, they tried to break the back door. It's a security door, so they kept hitting it for over one hour and they couldn't get access. So my governor came, asked them for the warrant of arrest and why couldn't they invite me to the police that I would have come instead of going to take a woman like a criminal. So the governor took me in his car and here, I'm refugeeing the government house. <laughs> But I want to thank His Excellency for keeping to his word that nothing should happen to the daughter of River State. So here I am in the government house, and that's all. I was supposed to be going today to Abuja to make my submission between, before the House of um, Representatives, the committee. I'm sure it's about that. Meanwhile, the, the, the man that harassed me is at home. The man who stole the money is at home. The man who stole government files is at home. The man who took money is at home. The man who said I should go and take an oath is at home. It's a criminal offense. It's life imprisonment to take um, um, oaths, to even give to me, to, to even offer me an oath. It's, it's, it's liable. So I'm here. So now that you're here, what options are you resorting? Well, I'm sure my lawyers would be working on it as we speak. But do you, I'm, do you really feel safe now? I feel very safe in the government house. And not just government house now. Oh, no, I don't think um, Akwabio can't kill me. Definitely, he can't. He can't. This is not, I'm not from uh, Uyo now. <laughs> he can't kill me. And why do people think he has the monopoly of violence? But what really is the issue about? I'm, I think he wanted to stop me from giving my um, submission today. He succeeded, but I'm sure the House of Reps will give me another day and Nigerians will hear more. I had stopped talking. I just wanted to make my submissions and then go away. But with this, mm -mm. And they say, wise men who refuse to do anything suffer the rule of idiots. So thank you.